Welcome back to Assemblance Oversight. I think the next thing to do is go back to Tessera Valley and see if anything's changed. So based on what we learned in the last episode, I think this is a peek into a future, possible future, given to us by aliens to warn of what's going to happen to our planet. It doesn't seem like anything's different here. Maybe this isn't the way to go. Maybe back to the installation, perhaps? Oh, right! The reason I couldn't progress any further here before wasn't because there's an, a, a, there was literally, like, something in the way. It's just because it was too dark to see anything, so it didn't let me go here. And now I have the flashlight. That makes sense. Also, this is really creepy. Uh, an underground lab. With a dead body outside. How did they die? Illuminated by nothing but a flashlight. <laughs> this game really does have horror vibes. There was somebody in there? Probably a body. I don't think they were alive. Why did it close the second I came in here? almost seemed like it closed when I looked at it. I wonder if I could get in there if I don't look at it. Going backwards or something. <laughs> Attention user, emergency shutdown was initiated. System offline. Would you like to initiate a system reset? Yes. Rebooting, stand by. Bank reinitialized. Power on. OS rebooting. Oh, and it looks like we're staring at a log. Core breach detected. A little bit later, diagnostic analysis suggests possible biological life form was detected in the chamber. Emergency security system has been activated. Authorized by C. Bester. Security addendum access to chamber restricted to senior level staff only. Authorization R. Plovis. Possible biological contamination? From the artifact? From the signal? From... Something. Maybe that's how they died then. Alright, this is just getting creepier then. Dramatic scene, I love it. Am I infected? Scan me. Access denied. Okay, I guess it just checks for access. Access denied. Confirming the site of initial contact has been breached. All systems have been aligned as instructed. I am finding no apparent evidence outside the chamber. This is Chief Engineer Carter Bester, employee 0016, requesting clearance. Confirming the site of initial contact has been breached. Well, there's our voice authorization to get into the room in the office. I am finding no apparent evidence outside the chamber. You are being misled. Your guidance AI has been compromised. Only I can lead you to the truth. Pay no attention to that. 
Management has gained access to all of my active chunks. I'll have to perform a hard reset. You'll have to manually reboot the system using the primary terminal. Whatever you do, do not choose safe mode, or management could easily seize control. Ah, the safe mode thing comes up. Okay, this seems important. I wonder if Mood AI is lying to me right now and I should choose safe mode. But I don't know enough to say that at the moment, so I'm going to choose normal mode. Rebooting. Okay, we're back. Though I'm not sure how much time we have left together. Let's get back to your investigation. Your progress is all that matters now. I hope this gives you access to the truth. truth, 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 truth. So we were able to get in there with our lower level access, but we couldn't get in here. I think I need to time it better. I was so excited to get into the room, I didn't stop to think of... Now I get to stare at the point matrix representation of the signal. a different point in time. By dividing our efforts across the four installations, each team is to reconstruct the simulation and then replicate in parallel until parity is achieved. If any installation or research team shows signs of instability, the isolation will allow us to minimize the impact on the project the whole. These measures should allow us to pinpoint the exact message contained from Alpha-1, even if it means rebuilding an entire neural mapping, one simulated cell at a time. In response to the reading... Wait, actually, I think this might be what we saw here before. Yeah, we've read that before. Stay away from him, I think he's in the hat. Yep. Yeah, these are all the same. The computer's different, obviously. Oh. Each facility acts... Oh. Each access point will require a security code for entry. Do not share this information. I should probably take a picture of this. still there. I'm afraid there is very little of me left now. This feels like the end. I don't think we've reached the end just yet. 3F06. 3F06. Yeah, I'm looking over right now at the codes that I have listed. 3F06 is one of the installations that we have the code for. 2341. Go. Before management takes control of us all. all, all. Oh wow, it's like... They're like, slowly deleting me. Or actually rather fast. 
two, three, four, one. Oh, I need to press enter. Two, three, four, one. It's already... We've already seen it. Activate emergency security system, I guess. I guess yes? Now that we have the authorization of Seabester? Is this any different? No, oh, the body's not there anymore. like that. Perseverance has been quite impressive. This is the end for me, but your path to the errant memory's origins is clear. For now. I had to sacrifice myself so you could succeed. I hope it's worth it. What you do with this information will determine your ultimate fate. So now I have access to a new place, Venera 17. Well, that doesn't look good. <laughs> this is Jay Hollis, captain of Venera 17. Confirming guidance is converged, and we're locked for 15.44 North, AO Station 3, Casera Valley. The 
Preparing termination protocol is directed in five, four, three, two, one. Nope, don't like that. Anomaly memory source requires further investigation. Would you like to continue? <laughs> yeah, the game loves to fuck with you. Oh, we're going back in. Your preferred memories have been loaded into the chamber. Have you explored them for accuracy? Who the hell is this? The data doesn't have to be foolproof. It's called science. Things are getting really messed up now. <laughs> I love what this game does. It's so cool. So if I go back here, I think the same thing is going to happen. If I only had a team that could deliver on my vision. Yeah. I love how it blinks out with that piano plink at the same time. So yeah, we need to figure out more things, obviously, before we can get anything new to do with that. Your preferred memories have been loaded into the chamber. So termination protocol is what they were enacting there. They were launching something, guiding it to Tessera Valley. What exactly is termination protocol? I mean, obviously they're destroying something, but how much are they destroying? The whole... Like... The whole valley? Have you explored them for accuracy? Who should be terminated this time? That's a creepy thing to say. Hmm... Back to Tessera Valley? Why not? We should... Everything's alive for once. So pretty. But nothing new there. Who should be terminated this time? <laughs> Let's try the installation. So that door's just open without me having to reset the security. So what if I just don't reset the security? Or what if I don't activate emergency system? Um, actually, how do I back out of this? I don't think I can now that I've entered it. Whoa, what the hell? visuals, the glitchiness, the grain. I don't know if the grain's even going to show up in the YouTube video because that's like the first thing to go during compression. But everything's so textured. Oh, that happened fast. I didn't get to hang out in that place this time. It's so fun to just poke around and try to figure out what changed. What is different? Well, let's... Oops. Let's go back to the installation and not enact the security procedures.
No, I don't want to go. <laughs> huh, nothing seemed different. Regardless of whether I enacted security procedures. Let's go to the office. Didn't find anything new in the offices. Ah. It didn't take us somewhere new, but it did color shift us. That was a thing in the original assemblance as well. Color shifting, that was sort of an indication to how far you had gone. You gotta find some way to shift it to the next color. So now that I've done that, now it's time to search around for something. Something out of place? Something I need to stare at. Space cats. Well, whatever it is, it's probably not here. Okay. Oh, never mind. And I honestly don't know. This isn't your place to be asking me this shit. Shit. Should I not have gotten closer? Technical specification. Supplemental. Carter Bester, employee 0016. An additional routine has been installed to ensure passage if the memory simulation cannot be halted or reach unsafe recursion. If the system appears compromised, a failsafe can be initiated by a recursive overload occurring within a redshifted photo frequency. The keypad next to the input terminal can then be used to reset the system, at which point simply entering the corresponding codes will grant access to the classified non-indexed memory data. Well, that's what we need to do next, isn't it? A recursive overload. How do I do a recursive overload? Or have I already done it? And then I just need to use a keypad next to the input terminal. Input terminal being the thing back at, well, back here. Still redshifted, good. We should unpack that statement. Hmm. Is there really no way to leave when you're at a, a screen like this? There must be, and I'm just missing it. We need new subjects to make new mistakes. Keypad next to the input terminal. This isn't a keypad, it's a screen. We should unpack that statement. Think back here. It showed a map of the facility here, but not within the redshifted world. What if I look in this again? Is this a recursive overload if I keep going into this? Is anything different now? Okay, and I honestly don't know. This isn't your place to be asking me this. Okay, so getting close isn't what makes that happen. They still disappear regardless. Some things are easier to see in the red shifted frequency. Yeah, the whole recursive thing is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to keep going into this until something happens? Oh, that sounded good. A 
That sounded productive. Oh, here's the map terminal input. Field containment holographic resonance. Yeah, I mean, this is the input areas right where I was looking with the screen, but there's no keypad there. Maybe there will be now. Maybe you have to overload before the keypad shows up. The data doesn't have to be foolproof. It's called science. Can I just arbitrarily type in codes here? No. Hmm. Who should be terminated this time? Maybe I went over the overload. Maybe I should have stopped when that noise happened because I went a little bit further. Oh, whoa. That also might just be an audio glitch when I try to go back into it too fast. <laughs> Let me see if I can make it happen again. I think that might be it, actually. Okay, hold on. Now that I've stayed... New subjects to make new mistakes. Now that I've stayed zoomed in after looking at the cube, my screen has stayed glitchy. Could that be what I need? Is there a magic keypad now? <laughs> the data doesn't have to be foolproof. It's called science. Hmm. Wait a minute. I heard a noise, like just staring at this. Was doing a thing. My business is people. What made that happen? Why did it go away? I think I need to get we the glitch back. That statement. This is so cool. I love poking and prodding at this game. I'm not sure if staying zoomed in is what made everything messed up. And like, um, I mean, it is what made the view messed up, but I'm not sure if that's what allowed me to stare at the thing and make something start to happen before I lost it. Or if I just need to redshift and then go here quickly. Who should be terminated this time? No, I Seems like I do need to stay zoomed in. I heard it again for there a second. There are valid reasons to keep this from the rest of them. Okay, perhaps nothing I was doing had anything to do the data with. The doesn't have to be foolproof. It's called science. Had nothing to do with what I was trying to solve. What if I just need to go to one of the other areas and see if anything's changed now that we're within the red shifted? Um, frequency. Who should be terminated this time? So I need to look for things that are different. Things that are odd. Things that stand out. Bodies still there. Also really need to make sure I stare at everything. I gotta try to think of ways to make recursion happen. Like this, what is with resetting the security system? You've, it doesn't seem like you need to. Oh, okay, yeah, that's odd. The bodies back? Activating emergency... It said activating emergency security system before. This whole memory is fucked up, which I think is good for what I'm trying to do. Let me see if I can leave this place. Things changed out here now. Pop 
body still there? Staring into the void will do something. If nothing else, it looks really cool. 